So guys, as you know, nine new supers have been revealed for what's coming in Forsaking. I'm going to take the challenge today and try to rate these. And the ratings are going to be a little different than normal. It's going to basically be broken down into three different tiers. So we're actually going to break these supers down based on its support features or support functions and how well it helps the surrounding fire teams and teammates. We're also going to break down its synergy. How well does the, the super itself and, and the, the neutral game and melee abilities how well does it synergize and then we're also going to break the supers down based on their lethality how lethal are these supers or at least how lethal do they sound of course a lot of the lethal part uh, is speculation because again it, it, it requires us to really see damage numbers for us to really get an understanding of how deadly these supers are but just off of the text here we're going to try our best to, to kind of decide how lethal some of these supers are now before we get started in rating these supers down let's set up some benchmarks real quick so whenever I mention a top tier support class in in destiny 2 currently I think of the code of protector tree on the Titan Sentinel class now as far as the best synergy subclasses in destiny 2 I would say that that would probably be bottom tree void walker I think bottom tree void walker with devourer and all those things that can just go hand in hand with it is such a good synergy tree and in terms of lethality guys I mean let's let's just be frank here I'm gonna pick hammers I think hammers is the most lethal super in the game now granted it all comes down to the user and that is very much opinionated I think support and things like synergy can definitely and we can draw conclusions to that based on the nomenclature and what's in the text themselves but I, I would say that super that's a little more subjective in terms of just deciding how lethal it can be because it really depends on the user's ability okay guys with that being said I need to delay the groundwork to today's video let's rate these supers all right boys let's start with the titan sentinel class this is the code of the commander so the melee ability sentinel's melee ability causes an explosion to occur it also says that all void ability damage not not kills ability damage attaches a void detonator to the target and so dealing damage to a target with a detonator attached causes another explosion creating a chain reaction that attaches even more detonators to surrounding enemies all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and say synergy right now right off the bat boom um i 10 out of 10. I mean, 10 out of fucking 10. Now, it de really depends on how much damage are we talking here, but all of that just sounds crazy, as in you would want to just load out your melee ability to be as short as possible and just run around and just melee everything you see and just keep causing chain reaction over and over again. Because I'm assuming when you get the melee ability off on something and it causes that explosion, it's going to be a void explosion. And then that void explosion is going to cause detonators to attach to the surrounding targets, which just and causes just more explosions and more explosions and lots of explosions okay we're getting a little carried away all right the grenade those Sentinel players and their allies will regain some grenade energy when detonators explode around them so the support feature right here um you know i would say you know i, I would give it a six or seven out of ten that's kind of what i'm saying see see it says regain some grenade energy so not all grenade energy uh again this is when the detonators explode around them so if there's a lot of detonators exploding around them then of course uh this could instantly give you back grenade grenade energy uh but i would say the support feature there though is is around six out of ten i don't think i'll give it seven out of ten six out of ten um yeah yeah we'll give it that now the super itself the super is still a banner shield but now it creates a wall of light that blocks incoming damage when the player is in the guard position and yes allies can shoot through this barrier okay so obviously this is a another feature adding to the support tree i i would say that this now raised the support uh features of of this class from a five out of ten or a six out of ten to to a good seven and a half out of ten maybe eight out of ten okay we'll give it eight out of ten for for this right here because it's pretty good i mean it depends on what situation we're gonna get in because you got to look into the fact that hey cool you can block incoming damage and your team can now pump out more damage but you're gonna be in a situation where you're losing out one man on optimal dps and that's a no bueno. Lethality wise, uh, you know, it's just as lethal as probably the regular banner shield. And so uh, to me, banner shield here on consoles, it's not bad, but it's it's still not my favorite. I would rate it, you know, a nice good four and a half out of 10. Oh man, I am just picky with my ratings today, man. Next up boys is the Sunbreaker, Code of the Devastator. Oh man, the Sunbreaker's melee ability is ranged like the hunter's throwing knife. But instead of a blade, Titans throw a small hammer 
which will stay where it lands. Picking it back up will fully recharge the player's melee ability and regenerate some health. Okay, guys, that, that is nasty. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's talk about this. I am around a corner. I am almost dead. I throw, say, hammer into the wall. I pick hammer back up. I have my melee ability back, which is just my hammer again. And I have now a little bit of health back. Wait, wait, I'm still a little low on health. Let me go ahead and top myself off. I throw the hammer again and then I pick it back up again and I regenerate some health. Hold on. There may be a cooldown on this, but from what I'm reading right here, we will be able to get our health back and there will be lots of situations that I think you'll be able to, to really utilize this, especially in PvP. I'm going to love pulling my hammer out of the corpse of some hunter. Now, each solar damage kill increases player damage up to triple damage buff. Okay, when we, when we say player damage um is that overall you know is this like a i'm a walking melting point and and that's that's just me i'm just gonna be able to kill you faster with both my weapons and abilities and melees or is it just gonna be utilized to things like my melee and my hammer um regardless again that sounds super freaking nasty man hold on before we get into the ratings here let's talk about the super the super is siege hammer which creates a giant flaming hammer that the titan can swing around them in wide arc hits will send out tornadoes of flame okay all of this sounds super crazy like the super lethality wise sounds close to 10 out of 10 i'll give it a 9 out of 10 just because i i worry that it's going to be super slow at least in pvp in pve i think it's going to be extremely nasty in pvp though it does concern me on whether or not the the hammer swing being as you know slow as it is unless it just has a huge aoe effect that will just catch anyone i do have some concerns with how quick it is because people just run away whenever you pop a super so this is a concern of mine as far as this synergy goes um, you know, the, the synergy there is amazing. I mean, everything about it from, from the hammer throw to picking it up and having immediate melee energy back is huge. Uh, having some regeneration of your health back, huge. Uh, the solar damage kill that, that also increases player damage, huge. So I, I got to say 10 out of 10 across the board. This is making, I mean, you know, that kind of bleeds into to lethality as well of the class. So so that, that I, I think lethality is 10 out of 10. I also think that synergy there is 10 out of 10. Support features, they're not really there. Actually, I don't think I, I'm reading any support features out, so outside of you just slaying out. So this is obviously a Slayer's class. And uh, as far as support features go, um, I don't see this class ever being a support to your fire team. So 0 out of 10 on that one. 1 out of 10. We'll give her 1 out of 10. We're not going to give 0 out of 10. That's, that's harsh, man. Striker class, guys. Code of the Missile. The Striker's melee ability lets players jump in the air, aim down, and fly like a missile into enemies. All right, so when you see the animation, it definitely looks like death from above. Now, this also helps with the striker super meter by giving you super energy. Now, any ammo players pick up while sliding will instantly reload their weapon. Successfully reloading through a slide will increase the player's damage for a short period of time. Holy shit, I, I have a hard time keeping my erection down right now. This is difficult. Listen to me, guys. You get a kill with a weapon that has kill clip. You slide over, say, ammo. You now have a reloaded weapon with both kill clip and the damage buff activated. You now fuck up everyone. This this is beautiful. My God, this is beautiful. No one will ever play any of our other classes again. The Super. The Super is a Thunder Crash, which turns the Titan into a mortar, basically. You can launch your Guardian through the air and smash in the crown. So the Super looks cool, but let me go ahead and say this. It does concern me a little bit. It looks avoidable. It looks slow to me. Um, you know, it, it could be faster, and it also could have a massive AoE effect. So it may be very difficult to escape. A lot of times now, a, a Guardian can just jump over over your super or at least for strikers they could just jump over your smash so if we also have that that vertical output that we had back in d1 and still be able to catch them vertically from all the way up into the sky with our super uh that'd be pretty nasty so overall guys let's rate this super so support wise i don't really see any support features here there doesn't seem to be anything that's really helping your surrounding teammates um, outside of the class just being a slater class again similar to the sunbreaker class this seems to be an all-out right slayer class now the synergy there i don't really know 
if there's really much synergy outside of death from above granting some super energy it doesn't seem to be you know when i think of synergy i think of things working like a carousel as it constantly keeps feeding into each other um i don't see anything here that refreshes your melee ability and so i don't think the synergy there is really that great lethality though let's just talk about that uh off the super itself say the super is just straight ass say the super is despite it sounding really cool and you being a mortar it's just terrible despite Despite that being the case, I would say the lethality is still a good solid 8.5 out of 10. And that is purely based off of the ammo pickup that you get when you slide that instantly reloads and gives you that player buff damage for that short period of time. That is going to make for some great playmaking potential, guys. So again, despite the super being kind of up in the air for us, I think this can be really nasty. If the super is really good, oh my god, 100%, 10 out of 10, it is going to be a class that I'm going to have trouble trouble not playing because i am a sunbreaker at heart but this is a class that will probably get me to play it more all right guys so next up is the warlock class void walker attunement of fission so we saw a little bit of gameplay of the actual super itself but the melee ability the void walker's melee attack generates a void explosion ahead of the warlock I wonder how big that explosion actually is. Holding the grenade button, though, will eat your grenade and cause an explosion in the vicinity of the Warlock. I'm assuming that's on the same level as what we saw in the explosion in the Super. The perk itself, Void Ability Kills, will restore both ability, energy, and health. The Super is going to be the Nova Warp, which lets players use a few short-range teleports before generating an explosion around themselves. Okay, so let's talk support features. I don't really think there's going to be much support features from this in terms of your fire team um i don't see anything here that's going to aid it didn't state that anything was going to aid any of your teammates in terms of synergy though the part where it says void ability kills will restore ability energy and health it really comes down to how much of course you know how much ability energy are we talking about and does ability energy bleed into other things so like the scenario i'm kind of like thinking in my head is like you've got two enemies pushing you right now you eat your grenade it does the explosion it hits both of them you know what i'm saying hopefully you get them close to half health or enough to just get a melee off on the other one you do the melee it does the void explosion out in front of you which then kills the other guy now you got a double down it was both void ability kills so now you've got ability energy and health back so ability wise guys i'm thinking like seven and a half out of ten i i know i'm being i'm i'm being a little conservative there because it sounds awesome but again i don't know how much ability energy we're talking about and i'm not sure about how much health we're talking about in terms of lethality though the super looks wicked cool man i mean essentially the teleportation that you're doing seems very similar to blink but almost swifter almost quicker so i think the super is definitely going to be a deadly choice in crucible and in pve the other side of things is the explosions i, I wonder how much damage the explosions are going to do as well as how big is the aoe effect you know pve for me at least yeah the damage is going to be really important but also the aoe size of the explosion and and that's really going to play a big role and hopefully that's going to be deadly enough to really do some some, some major damage against uh, ads and stuff like that in, in terms of just keeping good ad control down. It almost gives me that tank vibe. Even though this is a Warlock class, it gives me that tank vibe of like gaining aggro of all the enemies in the vicinity. Get them right next to you and then eat your grenade and go kabloomy, man. That sounds amazing. So so I'm not going to be as conservative here. I'm going to go ahead and say a good 9 out of 10 in terms of lethality. Just because I'm, I'm super hopeful about this and I think it's just all going to come down to that explosion, that AoE effect, as well as the the damage itself okay guys stormcaller attunement of control the melee ability the stormcaller's melee ability fires out an orb of electricity that soon explodes man we're all about explosions with warlocks it also sends out a lightning bolt into the ground okay all right i'm feeling it killing things with arc damage occasionally leaves behind ionic traces each time players collect an ionic trace they regain some ability energy Oh, okay, man. So the synergy there, that sounds pretty nice. Let's talk about the super, though, before we get to our ratings. The super is Chaos Reach, which sends out a beam of damaging energy. It's possible to shut off the beam before using your entire super bar. That's pretty nasty. Okay, it's already nasty that you're going to be shooting out a beam of energy, but to be able to shut it off, I mean, can you imagine only using like a quarter of your super bar? You just roast a few enemies real quick, only use just a little bit of your super bar, but then close it right back up, go back to your business, man. That's, that's pretty 
pretty awesome right there. Okay, let's hit the ratings, guys. So as far as support goes, this this is honestly making me think that anyone can pick up these Ionic Traces, though, because it says each time players collect an Ionic Trace, they'll regain some ability energy. So I'm assuming that's anyone, guys. I'm not I'm not thinking that's just for the Stormcaller itself. So I, I honestly think this is something that you and your fire team can go along and also pick up these traces. If that is the case, that's very, very nice. And I wonder how much ability energy you can get. I can go ahead and say right now the support feature for that to me is, is around a 6 out of 10. I, I think that's pretty nice. You'll get ability energy as you go along and pick up Ionic Traces. What's even better is maybe if you can pick up Ionic Traces without actually having to press a button. You just really just run across it and boom, you've got some more ability energy. Now the synergy here, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. So, so you do your melee ability and it fires out an orb of electricity, okay? The orb then soon explodes and it then it sends out a lightning bolt into the ground. So one lightning bolt maybe and can we kind of see where the lightning bolt is going to hit or is it just going to be completely random or is it just going to be a straight up aoe effect when it hits the ground and kills everything underneath it to me i'm thinking of like a group of enemies especially like when we get into the 6v6 you, you got them all on point b man you go in for the melee an orb of electricity is about to let loose on them it lets loose it kills everyone ionic traces all over the place and boom you've got your ability energy back so the synergy there to me is, is yeah it's definitely situational and the ionic traces is also kind of in the air of what it's actually going to do in terms of refresh or how much it's going to refresh that ability energy so i'm going to go ahead and say synergy there guys is around seven out of ten now how lethal is this super going to be bungie has already said that this super is going to break the game so i'm already going to go ahead and put it at 10 out of 10 the fact that i'm going to be able to use chaos reach and as i'm using chaos reach i can either pull my punches or, or keep laying on the on the gas pedal there is really awesome and to be able to save your super energy um is it god it's such a huge thing guys i don't think people understand how big of a deal that is name one super in this game that you can pop and not have to use it all every single super we have when you use it you have to completely use it right so to be able to just save it a little more a little more imagine getting your super like of, on round two or round three of trials and just using a little bit each round just use just a little bit just enough to get a pick man and you just keep using it each round after that god that is so nasty so 10 out of 10 on the super and on the lethality there fellas okay guys so dawn blade attunement of grace the dawn blades melee ability burns enemies and buffs allies oh okay all right this is presumably a similar buff to standing in an empowering rift oh shit all right then man so it's a hell of a buff grenade holding the grenade for an extended time turns into a blessing instead what which can be launched to heal allies and drop overshield orbs oh my god what this may or may not be the first time i'm reading the warlock classes i didn't really care about the warlocks but this this sounds pretty nasty now any healing or buffing abilities regenerate the warlocks non super abilities okay so more melee stuff more grenade stuff so more blessings to be thrown at your friends to give them health as well as overshield and and more melees to be thrown out which will also give everyone empowering rifts holy shit now the super is well of radiance okay I'm, I'm all right liking the sound of this in which guardians stick their sword into the ground to create a rift that both heals and buffs allies oh my god okay all right all right um all right support class 12 out of 10 100 percent. i can't even i can't even it blows every other support class out of the water guys when you when you get a melee ability burns enemies and buffs allies i i I don't even know what to say so okay let me just let me just paint the scenario I'm, I'm i'm in a strike or i'm in a raid i melee a thrall it then starts to burn my enemies and it immediately starts to buff allies and now it says that the melee ability burns enemies and buffs allies does not mean i have to get a kill i don't think it just it's just so you can use this against not only ads but also bosses holy shit okay i still can't get over this grenade though can you imagine having a teammate on the other side of the map he's literally one shot maybe it's a situation like is in where we can't get health you know what i mean where you have to hold like the chasm or, or whatever it was to get health back and you and you hold your grenade turn that bitch into a blessing chunk it across the map save his life by giving him his health back as well as dropping overshield orbs my god dude this is all simultaneously happening with the perk that is regenerating our warlock non-super abilities so the more healing and the more buffing i'm doing the more i'm getting them all back so the synergy here yes guys i mean 100 out of 10 fuck it 
it. It's it's so good. It's so nasty. The super though, and the super is just cherry on the top by giving everyone around you both healing and buffing. This this is crazy. This just pretty much made. I don't know. I feel like it makes my my sentinel abilities where I'm gonna be holding a shield there obsolete. Why would you need me holding a shield when when we have? both healing and buffing going on 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 the dom blade this this is crazy so synergy as well as support all all 10 out of 10 both of those are 10 out of 10 lethality it really depends guys on how much it burns enemies you know what i mean if 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 the burn tick is uh is really nice and does some massive amounts of damage um that would be you know of course that would add more to the lethality i don't think this is going to be a lethal class at all though i think everything here is purely meant for for optimal dps as well as keeping teammates alive in pve so lethality to me you know it's not that great. i mean three out of ten we'll just give it three which is you know i don't know you know what i mean i i just think that the the overwhelming factor about it would be obviously the support and and the synergy so those are going to be the main selling points for you to use this class okay boys let's talk about night stalkers way of the wraith melee the night stalker smoke bomb slows enemy and does a lot of damage okay that sounds pretty normal we saw that in d1 precision kills lets night stalkers turn invisible wait what precision kills let night stalkers turn invisible wait i just have to land a precision kill and i'm invis oh man that would have been so broken in the beginning of d2 they also grant true sight an ability that allows players to see through walls holy fuck me are you kidding me bungie are you fucking kidding me right now super the night stalker super is a spectral blades which turn the hunter invisible and lets them sneak around to stab their enemies in the back we already know it looks like blade dancer from d1 except for you're gonna have purple daggers instead of blue daggers all right all right look before we lose our shit over this let's talk about supports synergy and lethality lethality i'm gonna go ahead and say 10 out of 10 it is a lethal looking super in crucible it looks super lethal and i think it's probably gonna be pretty lethal in pve uh it really in pve is not necessarily gonna depend on how lethal it is to me it's more or less gonna depend on how how, how much of your super energy is going to be taken up after each swipe you know what i mean is it going to be like it was in d1 you know d1 it used to be per swipe and then it went from per swipe to per kill so i, I really don't know how that's going to play a role here is it going to be per kill or per swipe that that does matter a little bit guys in terms of even making it even more lethal and so uh, it really depends on how much of your super meter you're going to use up now as far as it's it's other lethality factors you know precision kills lets the night soccer turn invisible holy hell you know i know night stalker invisibility does not break aim assist like it used to but it still messes with people visually especially on maps that tend to be a little bit darker but obviously the selling point here is true sight the ability to see players through walls i can't tell you how valuable this is gonna be in ranked and this isn't an ability being granted to you from an exotic no this is purely the subclass itself this is crazy man this is just stupid crazy i'm gonna go ahead and say the the lethality there definitely 10 out of 10 uh as far as synergy goes nothing there really synergizing there's nothing i'm reading here that's gonna make your smoke grenade come back or your smoke bomb come back faster your grenades come back faster there's there's nothing really saying that that it's gonna just feed into each other and feed in into it it's in its abilities this is purely a slaying class in crucible obviously and as far as support functions go nothing much there so um you know one out of tens on on both uh the the support feed feature and synergy feature there uh lethality though is definitely the thing that's the selling point for this man this this makes me want to play it i'm not gonna lie to you guys i i hate hunters i really do i i hate you all with a passion i mean you've been my mortal enemy now for the past year and and now i'm, I'm like a step away from becoming one of you fucks damn it gunslinger way of a thousand cuts oh man we're getting crazy with the names now the gunslinger's melee ability throws out a phantom knives instead of just a single blade this this spread shot will also light enemies on fire. Ooh, okay, all right. Killing enemies who are on fire recharges the hunter's melee ability. Okay, so you could just finish them off with a gun or maybe just a regular melee or whatever whatever you just kill them and you get a refresh of your melee ability when enemies burn it causes the dodge ability to recharge all right all right synergy's looking pretty damn good there boys the super is blade barrage though which allows players to toss a bunch of explosive knives at their foes okay so we saw some of the clips from game informer actually today and from what we see there it's really difficult to hit anything outside of one target you can like they said if you 
your sensitivity was really high, you can move your reticle really fast and hit multiple enemies. But it seems to be a mega DPS ability to like bosses. So this doesn't seem like a super I think you would go into crucible with and get multi kills with, but it definitely seems like a super that's going to do some major DPS to these bosses and majors in PVE. Now as far as lethality goes, just seeing the clip this morning and seeing how fast you can put down a major here. Guys, I got to say 9 out of 10, maybe even 10 out of 10. I don't know how to rate it up against the other DPS supers yet See, since I haven't actually got to see all the damage numbers across the board. But but man, that was some massive amount of damage in a short period of time. That's the thing. I thought that the knife throw spread was going to take longer. As far as the synergy there, that's that synergy sounds really good. You know, to be able to get your, your melee ability back right after getting a kill on a burning target and consistently keep doing that over and over again. So pretty much in like a, a strike or something, I would just go in there and throw a volley of knives. As the targets are burning, I'm shooting them. And then while they are burning, I'm getting my dodge ability back. So I, I'm going to go ahead and say synergy there guys is is probably a solid nine out of ten because it, and it really is going to come down to this you know synergy is really good only if the the main ability itself is really good so if that knife throw that volley of knives being thrown does a lot of burn damage and also does a lot of damage by itself then this could be really nasty now i don't see any support features here nothing here that's aiding your fire team or your teammates in any kind of way so one out of ten on that one arc strider way of the current the Arc Strider's melee ability is activated by sliding before attacking. It causes the hunter to use their staff to deal melee damage in an electric uppercut strike. Alright, sounds pretty nasty. Sounds pretty cool, man. Very ninja-like. Melee hits lets you reload more quickly. Now, that sounds just like a regular melee, you know, just a melee hit. But I'm, I'm sure you can activate it by both using the staff or regular melee. Now, hitting an enemy with the hunter melee multiple times will disorient them and recharge your abilities. I wonder how this works. Can you go up to like a major or a boss or something like that and just keep punching them and they'll slowly become more disoriented? That's pretty nasty. I don't know how applicable that would be in Cruise because normally, you know, with the two melee hits, the, the enemy's dead. You know what I mean? So this orienting blow from from arc strider is normally only good on the first melee hit now all arc abilities electrify enemies which sounds pretty cool i'm wondering what electrify actually means is it just a little bit is it like the dune marchers effect where i just send like this little bolt of electricity between some enemies and it doesn't really stop them in their tracks or does electrify mean paralysis in some way something that stops enemies in their tracks i don't i don't know that sounds really cool though now the super is rolling guard which grants the arc strider the new ability to spin their staff and reflect projectiles back at their foes after reflecting though the arc staff's damage will be amplified by three times um this is particularly nasty against uh me as a hammer because me as a hammer i love killing arc striders as long as i can get above them i got them but if i start throwing hammers at an arc staff and he just starts chunking them bitches back and then turns around and one hits me with a staff i'm gonna be super pissed so in terms of lethality here i think it's 10 out of 10 and just off of its super itself guys i don't think you're going to be able to take a, an arc strider down if they're rocking way of the current simply because anything I, I i can think of throwing at them they'll just be able to reflect you know what i mean and i'm, I'm pretty sure like dom blade swords as well as hammers are all considered projectiles you know what i mean now if bullets themselves are considered projectiles that means they're going to instantly pretty much get the the buff the amplified three time buff to the arc staff and so pretty much whatever super fight they're going to get into they're going to win those super duels the synergy here also sounds extremely nice being able to get the melee off on somebody to reload quicker also hitting an enemy with the hunter melee multiple times will recharge your abilities as well as disorient them and on top of that all arc abilities electrify enemies so here's the scenario i'm thinking of you're backed up in a corner you're trying to reload but enemies are closing in on you you slide you get the staff uppercut strike on an enemy it now electrifies not just that one enemy but all all the enemies in proximity you now have options you can either reload your gun a lot quicker or now you can just continue to melee your newly electrified enemies guys lots of synergy here i'm liking what i'm reading this sounds really good so synergy for me here guys i'd say an eight out of ten uh it's more or less lethality there and it really just depends you know i like the fact that melee abilities help you reload a little quicker and so you just have to get a melee hit every single time not necessarily a melee kill and then of course being able to recharge your abilities 
So I'm thinking I'm gonna be a little little nice here and say eight out of ten on synergy. As far as support here goes, nothing really here. This is to me a a more of a, a halfway synergized Slayer class with very minimum support features and uh, or if any at all. So not really much here on the support side. Well, guys, that is all nine supers rated from yours truly. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, man. This is just something I was wanting to do really bad because again, you, you can't help but get excited when you read this stuff and some of these was the first time i actually even read i know this came out a, almost a few weeks ago uh, but I, i've been kind of saving it for this video right here guys if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that thumbs up for me guys and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right I'm sorry.